Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood, head of Weymouth at home in the FA Trophy. Adam, uh, it's the first time we've entered in the second round of the Cup. It took us two wins to get to this stage last year. How is it to have that little jump ahead in the competition? No, yeah, I think uh, you take it. Um, obviously, nice uh, to come in at this sort of stage, but yeah, we want to obviously progress in this competition. Um, you know, it's a, it's a really good competition. You get to play some some good good teams. Um, and it's a realistic chance for any team um, at our level and above to try and get to Wembley, as Hornchurch has proved. So, um, yeah, one that we've got to take very seriously. Um, but know that we can have a, a tough tough game uh, here on Saturday. Yeah, it was obviously a little bit rusty with uh, a week and a half without playing because of a, a couple of postponements recently. How has that left the squad? Has it left them a bit more refreshed or is that meant we're lacking a bit of game time? Um, no, yeah, we got the lads in Saturday, had sort of an in-house sort of game. There's one or two that have done a lot, so they had a would have enjoyed the rest. Um, so yeah, try to um, manage the squad as best we can. Um, try to get some bit more work into one or two that needed it, and you know rest for those that have, have been doing a lot. So um, it's, yeah, try to use use it as best we could. Um, obviously, was hoping to go again on on Tuesday in, in the cup game, but it wasn't to be. Um, but yeah, we just try and prepare as best we can uh, for this Saturday's game now and um, yeah it's a, it's a tough tough draw um, haven't been too kind to us the, the draws in although they've been at home um, you know uh, Slough and Eastbourne Borough in, in the FA Cup two teams at this level and two tough ties uh, and the same with Weymouth um, so yeah we're focusing on ourselves try and make sure we um, be better than we was in our last game and try and put one or two things right and like I say one or two hopefully we'll be back for some for some minutes on Saturday. Yeah that break could be an opportunity for a few of the boys who are injured at the moment Joel Cole, Brand, Danny Barker, Lewis White how's their recovery looking and how could they look for Saturday? Um, yeah I think Joel will probably look to get a, bit, uh, a few more minutes than maybe Lewis will um, both be looking to, to be involved in the squad obviously be an FA Trophy and having seven subs um, you know, it's a good good opportunity to, to have um, players on the bench and, and try and give them minutes if we can. Um, so we look at that. Um, yeah, Danny Barker, JB and Tati probably still not quite ready for them. Um, but, you know, having the breaks give them a you know, a couple of more sessions um, to, to, to speed their recovery up a bit. Um, so I don't think they're too far away now. Um, so, yeah, it's all getting there, uh, coming back slowly. Obviously, Kane's back over his illness now as well so um, I think it's Jav's last suspended game I believe um, so then yeah uh, from Tuesday there should be a few more players available again Is a bit of a healthier looking squad potentially for a busy week next week with three games after Saturday it's got to be quite good for you as a manager to have those options back Oh definitely yeah um, you know we tried not to hide behind the fact that we are missing seven players um, you know because it can happen um, and it gives players opportunities and um, you know I thought Ruben come in done really well so he'll be looking to stake a place for this Saturday as well um, Joe's done well obviously Luca coming back from um, the loan um, has, has served its purpose and done well and you know we've obviously got uh, Luke Robinson and Nods and people like that that are still out getting game time um, as well so yeah, we're monitoring the lads that are uh, away from us as well because you know throughout the season um, it's a big squad that's needed. So we look at Saturday, Weymouth at home obviously, and like you mentioned, they're a team in our league already. We played them back in August. We won three 0 They did look quite tough opposition that day though. I think it was a bit deceptive the result in some ways. What kind of game are you expecting from them? No, it's, it's certainly was. We definitely sort of thankful for Harrison to to um, keep us you know, ahead in the game. And then we scored from a set piece. We looked at um, an area that we could possibly exploit and Joel got on the end of it, I believe, and um, that really set us on our way and settled us down a bit. But you know, before that, you know, we were possibly lucky to, to still be level. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's a real tough game. Like what we've had now, probably near on 20 games against teams at this level. And... 
every game's been tough. There's not been much in it either game. The game could have gone either way. Um, you know, there's not been too many times where we've come away thinking we've already deserved to to win that game by a couple of goals. Um, I think when we have had games like that, we've probably drawn them, um, which has been a bit disappointing. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a real tough, challenging league. But um, you know that every game's gonna gonna you know challenge you, and you've got to be um, mentally prepared for that. Um, stay switched on and, and concentrate throughout. Um, and I feel the players, the young squad. There's not many that have played at this level before, but slowly sort of coming to terms with that and what's needed to to get get results at this level. It's something worth mentioning, that was only our third game at this level and there would have been a lot of players who haven't played at this level before. Do you think now it's been a couple of months since that last game that some of them might be a little bit more ready and a bit more prepared for that kind of fixture? No, yeah, definitely, 100%. You know, it's, like I say, nearly 20 games against teams at this kind of level now and um, you know, I definitely feel the squad and individuals are... Um, Coming a bit more aware of what what's needed, um, and like I say, the concentration is a big thing. Um, you can't afford to switch off. You're playing against good players, players that have got a lot of league experience. Um, more often than not, that you're playing against. So, yeah, you've got to be sort of mentally switched on and, and concentrate throughout the game. And uh, I think you know the players are adapting to that and and getting better. And that's that's all you can ask. What would you like to see from that game brought into Saturday? Um, yeah, just to carry on, I mean, we're on a good run of keeping clean sheets. I think that's three out of the last four we kept clean sheets in, so we want to try and, you know, add to that again. Um, but, um, yeah, just that all-round sort of play. I thought second half against Oxford, uh, we dealt with their threat a lot better. Again, we're possibly lucky not to have gone behind, but, um, you know, we withstood that and knew that we'd always create some chances going the other way. And, um you know, showed a, showed a real resilient side to us in the last few weeks. So we want to maintain that, um, defend our box with similar sort of aggression that we've, we've shown in the last few weeks and, um, yeah, try and create a little bit more if we can going another way as well.